Tents go up in the Syrian town of Danar, now a temporary home for families with nowhere else to go. They fled Marat al Numan in the south of Idlib province as Syrian government forces advance, many leaving most of their belongings behind. We fled from the bombardment and came here. It's a small camp that doesn't really fit a lot of people, and the people just keep coming. The situation is hard. Since the start of December, nearly 250,000 people have been displaced from Idlib, the last rebel-held area of Syria. Most are women and children. Many have fled by road. For others, fuel shortages have stopped them from getting away. Some are trying to seek shelter in Turkey, but they're not being allowed to cross the border. This comes on top of the displacement figures that we had from the end of April to the end of August, where more than 400,000 people have been displaced. So what we have is a displacement crisis on top of another displacement crisis. President Bashar al-Assad has vowed to recapture rebel-held areas. Shelling and airstrikes backed by Russia have intensified, forcing aid agencies to suspend operations in the area. Unless the fighting ends, there are fears that the supply of humanitarian aid will stop as soon as next month. In my mind, it's neither the Russians nor the Turks that are the key to the solution. Uh, the key to the solution is the international community getting uh, involved in this and putting pressure both on the Syrian regime in Russia and Turkey for a resolution that doesn't cause massive human loss of life or a humanitarian catastrophe. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. The violence goes against an August ceasefire deal and international calls for a de-escalation, but the Syrian government says recapturing the province is just a matter of time. Nicola Gage, Al Jazeera.